Hey everybody, today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Surprise, surprise, that seems to be my new hobby these days. Actually not a new hobby, it's just an old hobby that has become more prominent? I don't know, the wrong word. But anyway, so first off, I got another bag of kitty litter since that seems to be a major staple these days. And then I got a bag of these since these are my breakfast. And yeah, this hopefully will be my last bag for a very long time since our store is closing soon. Um, and then I picked up this little herb garden starter kit. And it includes the seeds for basil, chives, dill, and parsley. And it's the little plastic container thingy, little greenhouse kit. And so basically, you just add your own dirt, which I now have plenty of dirt to add to this. So, that should be fun. I don't know. I have, like, all these seeds, and I, I don't know. I think I mainly got for the little container, even though it's a cheap little flimsy thing. But that'll keep me entertained. And maybe my tummy happy I don't know <laughs> whatever and so I picked up a couple of bags of these things which are hanging moisture eliminators for my closet since my closet's on the other side of the shower and yeah and so the rest of oh wait and well this does count. I was going to say the rest of my items are cosmetic items and this is somewhat of a cosmetic item. It's more like a beauty item. But anyway, it's the L'Oreal Everstrong Sulfate Free Fortifying System Overnight Hair Repair Treatment and this. And on the back it says to apply one or two pumps of dry hair at night and work through and then like you don't rinse it out, you just leave it in, but it's supposed to like help repair your hair at night while you sleep. And we all know that I could use some hair repair. So yeah, guess I'll be trying that out to see how good it is. So, and as I was saying, the rest of these items are cosmetic items in, in my last video. I said something about how like our Dollar Trees haven't really had any good cosmetics lately. They just had the LA Colors, the Energen, and all these other little no-name brand things. But, and I noticed like some of the other Dollar Tree stuff, that's what I'm calling all the ladies who shop at Dollar Tree on a regular basis. I noticed that a lot of Dollar Tree stuff recently have been talking about this profusion eye makeup, and I saw it once at our Dollar Tree like I saw little round compact things that have like five different eye colors in them and I didn't think anything about it but it seems like lately everybody's kind of raving about them and so I was kind of looking for those little round compacts but my Dollar Tree didn't have them but they did have some other stuff that seems pretty cool um yeah, so they had Physician's Formula blushes. They had two types. They had one that was like a, one of those little brush ones that has the powder in the handle and you, I guess you twist it and it comes up through the bristles. And then the other one was just a little compact of blush. And they had several different shades of each one, but I almost, I don't really wear blush. Like it's something that just, I put on lip gloss and pretty much eye makeup and that's it. But they, like, I almost cut the blush because on the back it said that it had vitamins A and I think C and then E. And it said that it's supposed to help soothe and heal skin. And that made me think, well, maybe if I decide to wear it, it would help my cheeks out. But no, that was my logic and reasoning. Just no. Anyways, I'll pass on those, but I will show you what I did get. So, first off, I, since I couldn't find the other profusion little round compact thingies, um, I got this little five color eyeshadow palette, which it has the shimmery yellow, pink, green, kind of a periwinkle, and then blue, and I may swatch these later, I'm not sure. 
but that looks really pretty. So, yeah. And then, did I get that? Yeah. And then I got one of these little four pan perfusion palettes. And that was interesting. So, um, like I said, I probably will swatch all these later. Can't really see anything on the back because of this little hanger thing attached to it. Uh, yeah. And then the last two items are Rimmel eyeshadows and they are the Glam Eyes HD. So, do they have names? Okay, this one is called Purple Rain. So that looks pretty. I've never had Rimmel. Well, actually, I take the back. I have had one Rimmel eyeshadow that I got from Dollar Tree and I think I've tried it once. I can't remember. So, yeah. But I have had the Rimmel lipsticks and I love the Rimmel lipsticks. So, yeah. And then this one's called Heart of Gold. So, stay tuned and I'll try to add some swatches. Hopefully, we'll see. So, let's see if I can get through these swatches without any major interruptions and without my battery dying. So, I'm going to start off with this. My hair was so messed up in the other one. That little strand that was like stuck around my sleeve. Ugh. Okay. So, I'm going to start with this little Profusion 5 shadow palette. The Twinkle Twinkle palette. And something I've noticed about these in the store. I was reading the little hang tag. It says, new style every week. So... Like, what's the deal with that? Is that something that the line, like, is, like, have they already released everything and it's just now hitting dollar stores? Or is that something that they're doing that I, I'm confused. Uh, it's probably not that complicated, but anyway. But getting into the thing is complicated. Dang. Okay. There we go. Okay, we don't need a little applicator. That's unuseful. Um, just going to use my fingers, so, go ahead and swatch this yellow one. Actually has decent pigmentation. I hope that these are showing up. I don't know what's the best way to, that one doesn't have a whole lot. That one's showing up pretty good. And that one. Mm. Okay, actually, these, mm. yeah, that's, that's great. I don't know why I have that big, it's not like transferring. Ooh, okay. So, is showing up okay on the camera? Those are actually pretty good. Let me see if they like blend out really easily. Like, are they going to disappear? No. That one, you can really, wow, and that one. well, and they're not vanishing either. Like a lot of times these inexpensive eyeshadows have a tendency to just vanish when you rub them, but they're, I bet I can probably build up that pink pretty easily. Yeah, just add a little bit more. You can really build that one up and blend it without it, like, like I said, without it vanishing. The yellow, too. Okay, so these are actually pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say that they're Urban Decay quality, but they're right up there. They're definitely well worth a dollar, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Are they all like that, I wonder? Like, I wonder if all Perfusion... Well, I can already tell you that they probably all won't be like that because they have, or they had some little perfusion palettes that had like the 12 eyeshadows in them, and I actually own what looks like to be the same exact little palettes, but they were under the Colormate brand that I bought from the dollar store, so I'm thinking that they're probably the same thing, just with a different little name on them, but I... Yeah, I might do a review about those little, bleh, about those little color mate palettes because they're no good. Ugh. I almost got it off. I don't know if it, that, that deep dark blue shade just 
month to cling on. Okay, so that is definitely a winner. I, yeah. This belt right here is well worth a dollar. Definitely. So, if you like these colors, definitely get this one. Um, and if you have a good primer, then they should last without creasing because in my experience, if, you know, the primer is what really makes the shadow. So, here's this little palette, the little four pan palette. Um, it looks like it has a light gray or silver, a darker gray or gunmetal, blue and pink, which I'm mainly just interested in the blue and pink. So, let's see how those fare out to be. This is the light silver. Um, oh, that's actually pretty. It's a darker silver. Yeah, that one's definitely chalky and powdery. Uh, that one. It blooms out okay. Um, there's the blue. Oh, blue's nice. And the pink feels really gritty, really powdery. But it goes on pretty. It'd be a really pretty highlight. Actually, that'd be really pretty for a blush. I'm going to try building up this silver, the light silver one. That is actually really pretty. I already feel like I have a ton of silver shadows, but I really like that one. Like, seriously, I'm loving that one. Not so much the dark gray. Okay, I want the blue. Ooh. Blue is kind of nice when you build it up. And then the gritty pink. That pink is really pretty. Okay, so blendability, do they kind of... I mean, you can kind of... They blend well. That is... Okay, I'm liking these for the most part. They have a pearlescent, like, sheen to them, by the way, but they blend nicely. So these are a definite winner, too. All this off my fingers. Okay, now this is what I've been curious about. Let's do the the purple rain, which I was really drawn to this because of the white. It looks like it's an iridescent white, so I'm really hoping that it does translate well. I've never had like the, the Rimmel pigments before, or Rimmel shadows, so I don't know how the pigmentation is, but we shall see. Going for that white. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that translates well really well. I like that. I like it a lot. I'll go for this like part of the stripe, the X stripe. That one. Very narrow. It's, but it's kind of like a, a magenta color. It's hard to see that I'm pretty sure. And I'll go for the little background of the flag. Oh my gosh. They're like difficult. Ooh, that's a nice purple. No, I imagine that the cross in the middle. Ooh, that is definitely pigmented. Get a little bit more of the white. I'm loving the white. It's just pearly white, but it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Or for this pink. I do like that. I mean, it's difficult to get the color, and it's not super, like, heavily pigmented, but it's, you know, it's pigmented enough. La 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 la. Blin, blin, blin. They blend nicely, too. They don't, like, totally fade out. So that's cool. Alright, Rimmel. You've done good. At least for that one you have. Yay. It's good to know that my dollar hasn't been wasted on the item so far. 
So if anything, I would use them for like crafty type things and make them into art supplies. So the final one will be a heart of gold. So we'll see how this works out. Okay, first off, the little yellowy background color kind of. I got another shade. I got a bit of the brown, but hey, that's actually kind of cool. And then I'm going to go for this little brown right here, which is actually a bronze. Oh, that's a really pretty bronze color. Oh my gosh. I really like that. And then this little champagne background color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this. This is, yes. This is a definite winner. <laughs> and another kind of gold, like a deeper aged gold slash lighter bronzy color. I'm like, gosh, I love this. Okay. So if you really like the Urban Decay Naked palettes, um, this is a nice cheapie if you can find it at your Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh. Seriously loving this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, definite winner, my favorite, my absolute favorite find of the day. So pretty. Yeah, definitely get Rain of Gold, I mean Heart of Gold, Heart of Gold, definitely go get it. You'll love it. Oh my gosh, yes. So, that's it for the swatches and for the Dollar Tree haul, and thanks for watching.